Welcome everybody. So Nvidia 5090s, 5080s, release date February next year, January even. As you can see on the screen with me, this graphics card is going to be humongous. You better have a massive case for your PC to be able to hold one of these graphics cards. My current graphics card struggles with a 4080. So just put that into retrospect of how big of a case you're going to need for a 50 series Nvidia graphics card. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the specs and some of the information and pricing, of course. Some vital com information that we probably do definitely need to go off in making an important decision if we're going to upgrade our GPU. Yes, so here it is. RTX 5080, 5090 graphics cards are expected to be available for purchase in February 2025. Obviously, the content creators, the promoters, the pr testers... The people that get the prototypes will get it in January 2025. And the other ones are going to be pushing it out saying it's great or it's not. Is it worth the money or it's not? Those types of fucking people. Moving on. So there's a huge upgrade in shaders and CUDA cores and, and, G, and G, G, GB gigabytes. So let's just take a look. The 4090, which you more, more most of you know... Uh, is a DDR6. This is going to be now for 5090 a DDR7. It's going from a 24 gigabyte 4090 to a 32 gigabyte 5090. That's quite an increase. What is that? Eight, eight gigabytes. Ten. Let's kick ten gigabytes more for the 5090. Incredible. Shader units goes from a 16,384 for the 4090 to 21,760. That's quite a jump. That's a lot. It's a lot more percentage. Streaming processes is 128 to 170. We're looking at a memory bus of 448 to 512. And power wattage. So it's going to be absorbing from your power supply 600 watts versus the 4090 at 450. Price point, 1600 is obviously for the 4090. You might be able to get one for 1500 with a Best Buy coupon code. But the pricing of this, I'm going to assume, is going to be around the same price. Maybe slightly more. Maybe maybe 100 maybe $200 more. I mean, clo somewhere clo in between 1600 and 2000 Somewhere in that range. It is a much more powerful device. It's going to perform better, obviously. It's going to draw a lot of power, a lot more power from your PC. It's going to create a lot more heat. It's going to take up a lot more space. So just take that into just take that with a grain of salt when you are thinking about upgrading and increasing your GPU performance with the 5090. Let's move on to the 5080 next. 5080. So the 4080 is what I currently have. It has 9,728 shader units. It's going to be increased to 10,752 shader units, which is a, a little bit more, a little bit of a decent amount. Streaming processes go from a 76 to 84, so a little bit of a bump. Memory bus is 256 to 256. It's the same memory bus, which is very strange. It should increase it slightly. DDR6 is the original uh, memory type. Now it goes to a DDR7. So slightly faster access to memory and a little bit larger width. Graphics unit is 16 gigabytes. 16 gigabytes is the same. It hasn't changed. Uh, the power rating, though, has gone up, which is bad. <laughs> we want the power to go down, the amount of pool to go down. Uh, 320 was my co is, is a 480. The 4 5080 is going to 400. So it's an 80 watt increase. That means your, your monthly electrical bill will go up slightly. And your performance will go up slightly with it. So is it really worth it? I don't know. I'm considering keeping my 4080 until the 60 series. I really am. I'm very happy with the performance of my 4080, to be fair. Pricing, $1,200. Yes, I paid about $1,050, like $1,100 for my GPU from Best Buy with a coupon code. Uh, I think the price might be slightly more, maybe $1,200, maybe $1,300. That's what I'm thinking it's going to be. A little bit more, because you get a little bit more performance, don't you? So obviously, you know, the cost should go up slightly. You know, you can't really cry about it or complain. It is what it is. My concern with these GPUs isn't necessarily the performance and the amount of power it uses. Yes, it is something to take into account. But my consideration here, my actual fear here, is the size of the unit itself. 
It's going to take up the majority of the case. They're going to be bulky and long and huge and very difficult to install and to have in there. You're going to have to keep, you have to have upgrade your case. Now, my case is somewhat falling apart anyway. The side keeps popping off sometimes. So I am considering getting a larger case. Uh, so I might do that. But it all depends. Like I said, I'm very happy with my 4080. I don't really want to upgrade unless I really have to. So, you know, I don't know. Where are you on, are you on the fence with me? Where you have a 40 series or maybe even a 30 series, like a high-end 30 series, and you're not sure what to, if to upgrade or not? Let me know in the comment section. We can talk a little bit, right? And if you're new, subscribe. Tech information, gaming, random videos, streaming, you name it. I'm usually there somewhere. See ya.